everybody. We've not been gardening because we didn't want to uh, put this blue tit off. Um, this is the first year, I think, for a couple of years where they've managed to raise young and I think they're ready to fledge any time. Um, so we've not been gardening. We've kept out of their way. We've not cut the grass until today. And I'll, in fact, I can still smell it it's now, the cut grass. So I'll be able to show you uh, the garden. One of the things that the blue tits have been doing is going uh, to the feeding station and then back to the box. But now I think they're going more for uh, natural things. And uh, instead of going back and forth to the feeding station, they seem to be going in other directions. Anyway, let's just see. Ah, it is a tit. Oh, oh, that's actually, that's a great tit. Um, but they have been going for the fat balls, which you can see in there. They're coming straight out of the nest box, straight onto the fat balls, or uh, after the sunflower seed. The sunflower seed's got no husks. And we found that if we keep them topped up, we get the great tit you've just seen, the blue tit, which comes straight from the nest box sometimes. Uh, we've gotten um, uh, starlings, which have nested at the side of the house. Uh, we've got all manner of other birds out. Here we go. Such as the uh, house sparrow, you can see there, which I think have nested locally. They're not nested on our house though. Um, but there is something I, I'd like to discuss, and that is you can see the tray, although it's empty at the moment. Uh, the robins and dunnocks and chaffinch have been going on the tray. Sometimes siskins have been getting on there as well. Now, if it's the first time we've had six uh, siskin this year, first time for about 16 years. Uh, I doubt very much if we'll see one today. Maybe early morning. Now, the siskin like red uh, pellets for some reason. But what I wanted to tell you about was we are plagued with cats. At least five cats have come into the garden and the way I've got around birds getting killed or taken by the cat is I've got that tray there. I want to put food in that tray there. Robins go in there. Dunnets go in there. Chaffinch go in there. Uh, bullfinch have still stayed on the ground unfortunately but ground feeders yeah they've been I think this is the little tit that's going to go to the box yeah, it has yeah come catch it up but there it has it's just got something in its mouth uh, and I think it's gone back to the feeder that's a lot come on John Sorry about that. I'll just concentrate on the feeder, it might come to it. The uh, best thing to see would be for it to come all the way out of the box. See if I can get the feeder and the box in there. Uh, I don't want to make it. Let's just try a bit. Yeah, that's, I think, going to go to the, no, no, I've got 
and goldfish on the line. Ah, that's it. Look, it's just come out of the box, bloated. It's now getting food off of the fat balls. Let's see if it goes back. Oh, this is magic for me. Is it going to go? No, it's just so unpredictable. It's been... There you go. So it's gone off the fat balls right into the box. And we've given them a sporting chance by, you know, uh, by not doing the gardening. Absolutely fantastic. So what's that on there now? Great it. There it is. So the sunflower seed, or oh, golfing cell, the sunflower seed is more expensive than a lot of the seed. Um, if the husks are taken off, if the husks are left on, they gather on the floor and make a right mess. But what tends to happen in, in this, this case is that uh, on the tray, colliders have found a way of getting on there and so as uh, wood pigeons. I think that's going to go right across to the... Let's just see. Is it going? No. No, sorry. So the wood pigeons are getting on the tray and also the collar doves and they, what they do is they shake the tray and food goes down onto the ground and they mop it all up. So everything's uh, working together. Now yesterday, and I have taken a film of the uh, lawn when the grass was long. Yesterday the grass was long and you can see today it's cut really nice and short. The problem is I had, I had problems with my lawnmower and it's, uh, it looks as though I'm going to have to have a new one. But we've had it about 15 years so, and I have serviced it every year so it's not done bad. Anyway, let's have a quick look round the garden for you. Right. So this on the uh, you can see Welsh poppies. I think they, these are, and there's orange ones and yellow ones. And if if my voice is muffled, it's because my hands over uh, my mouth as I'm holding the camera. And then this is honeysuckle, and a bit later in the year, in the evening, it smells fantastic, wonderful. And then in the corner there, we've got some holly, and these red berries. This plant has red berries, and the uh, turtle dove loves those red berries. We haven't had turtle dove for a few years. But I understand that the RSPB are doing some work to make sure that they get uh, over to this country and breed. So we might get one in the garden. I hope we do. And my son loves these ferns. I don't, I don't like ferns. I don't know why I don't like ferns, but my son loves these ferns and they do really well. He's got green fingers, by the way. And um, look at the plant growth at the back there. there. There was nothing there a month ago. Just look at it all. It's absolutely fantastic. And the white flowers you can see there are caught there by the uh, nest box are called Gillian Blaze Blades, sorry. And there will be there's about five on at the moment. And we will be lucky to get about fifteen on there. They don't last long. 
on this car it doesn't pick up the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, shape properly, uh, properly because they're white. But you could see then that the blue tips were coming and going. There's a pair at it. And now uh, this pair, by the way, are feeding from first light until dusk. And they've been doing that now for at least a week. They must be exhausted. So that's probably why they can only have one brood, or usually have one brood. Uh, depends on the food availability, I suppose. So right at the back of the garden here, yeah. you can see various plants. Now look at that. That is a kind of a dog rose, I believe. And, and, uh, and you can see there's a path either side now. My son's made a path on the left hand side and cleared the path on the right hand side. Uh, and we've done that to, together today. And then coming down the line there, on the, you can see all the plants. Oh, that border, it's full, it's beautiful. It's a bit of the sun's not out. But you can hear the birds. You can hear goldfinch. We had uh, greenfinch earlier when I was first speaking. Um, let's have a look at the lawn now. It needs a little bit more work. I could have cut that a bit shorter. But it was still a bit damp from last night. But it looks lovely now, don't it? Really nice. We uh, have the umbrella up where I'm sitting. And we usually have a seat uh, to my right. And over the fence is the park. And there's loads and loads of wonderful trees. And there's one tree up. And it gives us privacy from from the people in the park. Now last week, last Sunday, it was total man, uh, which I'll be making a vlog of. And uh, man was the uh, name of the troop that were. Uh, Uh, entertaining all the families, children, adults alike, and it was fantastic. Anyway, more of that later. And I'll just walk you to this thing I want to show you. Some more uh, poppies down there, well, poppies, and I think they'll keep with us until the first frost probably the second week in October. Just look at that, isn't that nice? And then of course going, <coughs> going up the garden. I would say it's about the size of an allotment. It's packed with flowers and shrubs. and We get lots and lots of uh, uh, slugs. And they don't appear to affect these plants at all. There's, uh, there you go. This is usually out when the sun's out. It's, it's in now. <laughs> I forgot his name. And just look at this. This is a nicer, beautiful. My son's just put another one in this this time, this year. Uh, in fact, in a couple of weeks ago. But look at this, beautiful. Get moths in mine there. And this I really like. Don't know if the camera will pick it up as nice as it should do. As I say, it's, uh, it doesn't do well with uh, white. 
and that's the path my son's opened up today and it takes you right to the Burleo which is uh, grown and I cut it really back, hard back, after it's flowered. And there it is, look, it's come back again. Eric is still with us. And but look at this, I really like that. That, by the way, is in a chimney, an old chimney that's full of soil. Um, there's a Jillian Blades. Um, you can see all the ferns. It's like an oasis, really. This is what the lawn looked like uh, the day before uh, I cut it. Anyway, that's it for now. If you like my videos, please click on the subscribe and like button. Bye for now.